So typically, I actually start up at the pole. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like to examine them from the front to the back or yep. the, the tip of the ears to their tail. And so oftentimes, I will go through and actually start by palpating their pole and their neck. And basically, I'm feeling their facets for any pain on palpation of them. The facets are the joints within the neck. Mm -hmm. And so there are horses that that's a performance limiting aspect, them having arthritis in their neck. So oftentimes I start up high mm -hmm. and I just want to evaluate the horse from the head to the tail. And then I'll go down and I usually will palpate the, the front limbs first. And so I'll palpate their withers and really assess anything up in their shoulders and wither area. Some of them really like it. <laughs> and then I'll go down and you know, palpate their shoulder and basically evaluate every joint mm -hmm. in the in the front end and then we'll move to the back. So the elbow, looking for any fluid or swelling associated with it. Go down to the knee and we're looking for any fluid upon the knee. And then those tendons really palpating for any thickness or heat or swelling associated with them. We're gonna feel the digital pulse and see if, and I like to do it in a dynamic range. So we'll oftentimes pick up their foot as well. And we will palpate the fluid on the joints when we're basically putting them through passive range of motion. And then the same is true with those tendons. We can really isolate them out when they're non weight bearing. So we're gonna go down and palpate them for heat or swelling, flex the little fetlock and feel for any after I evaluate the, the front limb and all the joints associated with it, then I go on and evaluate more of kind of the axial skeleton. So really looking at the back and also SI pelvis. Um, I think that these are a huge part of a lameness exam or a performance exam as it can cause a lot of pain and poor performance in horses. So I oftentimes will... Is there something that cutters should really look for? Um, maybe in x-rays or what they should definitely x-ray? Yeah, so, I mean, most people have kind of a standard package of what we x-ray and that comes down to what the joints are that have the most problems. Mm -hmm. And so the most common or standard thing to x-ray is going to be